there and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new and don't know who I am, I am June and today I am going to be going through four different DIYs. Uh, these here are projects that are either I've either gotten them from the thrift shop or I've gotten something from the Dollar Tree or just simply something out of my stash that came from maybe a yard sale or who knows where. Anyway, there is nothing more refreshing than, than being able to turn something old into something that looks really high end. You know, we go to Anthropology or we go to um, the Pottery Barn, places like that. We look at the prices and we go, oh my word. Well, I'm going to show you a few ways to be able to upgrade, upscale, turn something old into something that looks new and looks very high end. What do you think? Should we get started? I think so. We have a lot of projects to do. <laughs> this is Tilly and this is Pixie. I found this perfect four-legged stool at the thrift shop for $4.25. Most of the time they run higher than $5. I knew I could make something great out of this. So I went to my stash and I found my rug that I had picked up at TJ Maxx. I love this rug but I didn't want to get it dirty so I want to make something out of it. I only want to use the tassels to run around the bottom of this stool and I want to use the next part to run around the top of the stool. So with my scissors, I am just cutting out what I need from this rug from both ends. I'm going to save the rest of this rug for another project sometime. You have to keep your eyes open to see what I do with that. I think black would be great for the legs, so I am going to spray paint that with the Rust-Oleum paint. It is the Satin 2X. I did this with just one coat. It did a great job. Using Gorilla Glue Sticks in my hot glue gun, I'm going to start applying the glue to the bottom of my stool and starting to put the tassels on here. Here is where you can see the imperfections of Boho Designs. Right there, I cut it off and just tucked it in and tacked it down with glue. See how it doesn't match? But that's okay. For right now, I'm adding three rounds of this seagrass rope. I thought this would add to it to give it to more of the organic look that I'm looking for. I actually found two sections of this rug that, that matched, and I'm going to apply this to the top of it. After getting the top all glued into place, I decided that I wanted to add nautical rope to this and two more strips of the seagrass around the center of it. Next I measured and found the center of my stool and started to apply the nautical rope by going around and around. I also had tacked down the edges at the top there with glue. While I was working with this, I discovered I was not in the center, so what I did here is I looped it back to fill in where it was off center, and it actually worked out perfect. I clipped it off and glued it right there. Here are the last two strips of the seagrass that I put in to top it all off. I think this turned out to be a perfect high-end looking hassock. My daughter-in-law stopped in and she said, did you get that at TJ Maxx? I felt complimented. And my little dog Tilly, she thinks it's quite great too. For this next project, we're gonna start off with this absolutely ugly blue tray. I found it at a yard sale for $1.25 a couple years back. I have kept in mind that I'm gonna make something really beautiful out of this. And that day has come. I am really excited to show you how this turns out. So for this DIY, I've gotten several packs of the wooden doll rods from the Dollar Tree. I have chosen to use a stain that is an English, I believe it's English chestnut, and I'm going to be using a rag and a little paintbrush to put that on with. And then I also have um, the seagrass rope. I love this stuff. Next, I am just simply taking the stain and putting it on with my little brush. Do wear your gloves. And then I'm wiping it off with the little rag. 
Then I stained both ends of the rods. I spray painted the tray black with the rust paint. That's the 2X satin. I then get my hot glue gun and use the Gorilla Glue Sticks and start gluing the sticks down. I love how this is turning out. It is so simple to do. Next I am using the seagrass and just laying it in the opposite direction from the doll rods and gluing it down. As you come to the end each time, you're going to want to fold back and crease that end so that it stays in nice and even. Also, to make your work look nice and professional, don't let the glue seep through any more than possible. Next, I am going to apply the matte Mod Podge. I really like this stuff because it leaves the project looking really natural. And there again, if you wanted to use the gloss, you could. I'm doing this so that it seals it off. That way that if I get something on it, I can wipe it up. Next, I will let it dry for several hours. Today, I think I'm going to set it outside because it's really nice. Oh, look at that. It turned out beautiful. Got the high-end look that I was looking for. So I was looking my tray over and I thought, you know what, I really need to have something, another piece that would be more of a high-end look sitting on my tray. So with this, these trivets that I found at Hobby Lobby, they came in a pack of six, they were on sale. I'm going to use these as my base. They're a cork. These here are going to be my feet, which I get those at the Dollar Tree in a pack of 36. They're wood craft cubes and the nautical rope and that can be found at the Dollar Tree. Next I am simply gluing the trivets together using my hot glue gun. Next I am just simply applying stain to these little blocks that I'm going to be using for the feet. I have chosen these words to run off from my Cricut. Let me know in the comment if this is something that you would like to see more DIYs done with. Next, I have chosen a piece of paper that is uh, very authentic looking. It almost looks like leather. I'm tracing around it and cutting it out, and it's going to be my top. Next, I am just simply applying my vinyl to this. Next, I am applying Mod Podge to my trivet to put my Simply Blessed on top of that. And then I went over it again with more Mod Podge to seal it all off. Now I am putting two rounds of nautical rope on this. Okay, and now for here at the end, I'm gluing the four feet on. Isn't this just so cute? It is nice and neatly done. And so simple. I have found the perfect spot to style my tray. There is nothing more rewarding than having beautiful things that you've made yourself. And for so little pennies, I'm going to put my little rise right here and I think I'm going to put a plant right on this. Cool thing is, is that I can put a cup of coffee on here and a book. Leave a comment below and let me know which one of these items you like best. Alright, let's get ready for some more fun. So for this easy DIY, it's actually a basket and it's one that hangs on the door. That's what I'm going to do with it anyway. And um, I got it at a thrift shop. So this here is totally a thrift flip uh, project. I got these. Look at that. That was such a steal of a deal. I got for like $1.50. Oh, there it is. $1.99 at the thrift shop. When I seen that, I'm like, oh boy, that's mine because that's a whole bag of wooden beads that I can turn into any color I want. Because I like texture and I love basket weave, in fact, I used to weave baskets. Anyway, but I love old things too, but I also like them to look really nice and I like them to look, yeah, well, high end. So anyway, what I'm gonna do with this, I am going to use spackle and I, you can get this at the Dollar Tree and I am going to just simply spackle this whole entire basket. 
Okay, I have the basket fully covered. Now what I think I'm going to do, and this is the fun part about doing DIYs or your own crafts, and that is um, you kind of work it as you go. I've decided that up from the bottom, down from here on, on up, I'm gonna make it thicker. Okay, so this is how much I decided to do, just the, that bottom part and down through here and then up the side. And I'm gonna let that dry. Okay, so it is dry and I'm gonna actually rub my hand across this and take off the real rough edges of it. Next, I am going to use some chalk paint. This one here is a white cottage. This one here is steel giving me the look I wanted. This reminds me of an old um, brick building that maybe was like falling down like somewhere, maybe in Italy, how about it? I am thrilled. This is the look that I wanted. I just love how in parts of it that my basket weave is almost buried in there. Gives it that authentic old look that I was looking for. Also, it gives me that cottage look. My home is more of a cottage, um, sort of, um, <laughs> yeah, sort of um, farmhouse. Yeah, it's got, I have a lot of different likes. The boho look I've got in different places. Leave a comment below and let me know what style of a home that you have. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell so that you can be notified when my next video comes up. By using the paint on this, it is also helping to set the um, spackle into this so that it won't flake off. So anyway, when you go to a high-end store and you take a look at a basket there, you're going to say, hey, I know how to do that because June taught me. Anyway, I am going to move on with this and get the handle put on this. Okay, so I've kind of surprised myself on this one, but this color actually works perfect for what I wanted to do. And I'm actually just taking some of my paint that I did on the basket and just kind of streaking it through it. It's just causing it to be, just give it a really nice look. And I'm gonna use this for my handle. Using Gorilla Glue in my hot glue gun, I am attaching these beads for my handle. Okay, so I would like to make this here look a little bit more rugged than what it is. I'm taking my um, stain brush, and if you're like me, you wrap your, your stain brush up and you have it in plastic. So it's just kind of dry brushing here along the edge of this. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hot glue this down, and then I'm gonna pack in some more of the spackle around it. Okay, this is turning out like I wanted it to. Just gonna put some more up into the, the word. Kind of bury the word a little bit. So to finish this off, I'm going to Mod Podge my sign right on here. I love this uh, Mod Podge. It's the matte and it keeps things looking natural, but still does a protective over it. And again, I wanna protect it because I went through and I had added some more goop to it. I need to clear some of that off. It is flaking. I maybe would not have had to have put the um, stained edge on here like I had, um, but it kind of changed the color of my gray. I wanted that gray um, paper that I had used. I wanted that to be kind of muted into the whole thing. Also, I wanted the shine from off of the uh, vinyl that I had used for my, my wording. I wanted that to also uh, not be shiny. So what I've done here, after I put on that Mod Podge, I didn't like it. I wasn't totally happy with it. I'm just going back through here and barehanded here without my glove. This stuff is fun to work with and just kind of smearing in and causing my flower word to sort of disappear into the into the basket because I want it to really look old and kind of really worn out 
and then I will Mod Podge over that again so that it's all set in stone. How about it? Set in basket. I am so thrilled with my high-end looking basket. If I would have bought this at Pottery Barn or um, Anthropology, I would have paid probably upwards to $45 for this. Now I'm going to stuff it with spring flowers. I am stuffing the basket first with old grocery bags and then just filling it up with the flowers that I have. Some of these are from the Dollar Tree. I hope that I've inspired you to find great items at the thrift shop and turn them into something beautiful that looks really high-end. Give me a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video.